Hello. I decided to make this video on the the router that I had for a long ass time that I couldn't figure out how to share port to plug in a hard drive or a printer in back of my in back of my uh, router and share it throughout my network. So this little USB thing I connect things on it to it, connect things to it before and never was able to work it out. So I did some research on this router and I found out that my router was out of date. It was on the the lowest firmware. So I'm gonna show you on this video how to update your firmware on your router and share port how to connect a router or connect a printer or a hard drive I have my hard drive connected to to mine so everything's connected back here so there's the wire connected to the the share port one so I'm going to show you how to able that as you can see my the version let me see my version I'm on 1.2.3 NA the newest version with all the air fix and glitches fixed so uh, I'm gonna have all the links in the bottom on my description so first of all I want you to find out if you're out of date on your firmware if you uh, the way of finding out is on your router or on your um, on your page um, so as you can see again my router my current version is on 1.2 point 3 NA just go to tools go to firmware and um and see what version you're on if you're not on this version I'll show you how to get it right now okay so remember this page because we're gonna have to use this page to upload your files okay so here's the first thing we're gonna share port you know off the hard off the router okay so the first thing that I did is went to the D-Link website and the firmware I, went, I hit firmware and once I hit firmware I, I look down here and this is the firmware I had before the the one the one point old point the one point old two and it's nothing I didn't know that they had so many updates so on one of the updates they actually added the share port and that was on this one added share port so what you want to do is go on the the top one the 1.23 NA hit download make sure you download it onto your desktop make sure all your settings are downloaded to your desktop it's a very real small file so download real quickly so just say you downloaded it it should be on your desktop Extract it. You hit extract here. And this file should look something like this. Okay, here's the the update file and this is the file that's gonna tell you what this file contains. And it contains all the latest firmware to the 
Oh, this is the latest firmware, so all this it contains all the updates and errors and, f and glitches that they fixed, so that's a good thing. So remember, we're going to be needing this. So after we're downloading that, we go to our settings through our router, back to where we began, and we go to tools, firmware and then then this remember when you're updating when you're updating your your router you gotta make sure you connect it through a wire not don't do it through a wireless connection or else you're gonna have problems that's what they're saying right here as you can see right here you could read that do not do it through a wireless connection so, we'll go back to here again. Just hit browse. Look for that firmware. Mine's already on here because I was I did it earlier. So, just go to desktop. That's where I saved mine. So, wherever you saved yours, go look for it. Then just hit open. Then all you do is hit the firmware. And just hit open. And once the firmware right here you upload it once you upload it it's gonna take about like less than three minutes and it's gonna um, reset everything all your router all your passwords it's gonna reset everything so once you do this you're gonna have to go back to your your router and set the wireless passwords again the set up your basic internet connections so when you're done with that the next thing we're gonna have to do it's download download the software for you to um, share port to share port you're gonna have to I'm gonna have the link again in, in my description because the share port things is it's on a, additional downloads so what you want to do is go down because mine's on a PC so the software right here I have to download this one oh, there's a Mac version if you're on a Mac and, and here's some other ones but the good thing if you don't understand what I'm talking about right now on this program down, make sure you download this um, manual because this manual will come in handy the manual will tell you everything how it works so you hit um, download make sure you download that software so once you're done downloading it extract it so I already have it out here so I'll hit yes to all so it's gonna have a file. Mine's system's a 33 bit, so I'm just gonna hit 33. You hit English. You go to next. So I already have it in my system, as you can see. So you know, you just download it, install it. So when once you install it, it's gonna look something like this. And I have a little thing that's called SharePort. Once you open it, whatever drive or whatever um, external drive you have plugged into there or your printer, it's gonna it should pop up right here. Then you can do whatever you want. Mess around with it. So you could disconnect, uh, refresh. You could change the name of it, the hard drive, whatever you want. I'll name it Joe. So, yeah, okay. So, this will be my drive that's called Joe. So, as you can see, as I turned it off, it's not on here. But, when I go on a SharePoint, 
and activate it, it should pop right up. So, and here's the manual. Download the manual, it's pretty good. It'll help you out understand this a little bit more. So, I downloaded it. I hope you all work out this program. I'll get to know it a little more. Here's all the drives you can connect to it. Printers, external speakers, I guess. Keyboards, I guess. Mouse keyboards. Oh, that's pretty cool. I'm going to try that one. And um, video drives. So you could connect all these drives to it. That's pretty cool. I didn't know that. So... So I hope you have fun with it and learn something, as I did. So here's my external that just popped up right now, and it popped up onto my hard drive, my my extra drive on my network. So that's pretty cool. So you could back up all your information easily, and um, that's about it. Okay. Thank you guys for watching.